Gladstone police are on high alert tonight looking for a man who tried to kidnap a seven year old girl. And they want you and your family to be ready in case something like this happens again. KMBC 9's Peggy Bride live up at Flora Park in Gladstone. Peggy. Well, Chris, this case is alarming for police, parents, and kids. The little girl was walking right down here on this path on her way to school yesterday morning when she says a man came from behind and grabbed her. A nine year old boy heard her scream and came to help. The attacker ran off into the woods. Both of them knew what to do and they, and they uh, scared him off. Everyone's relieved the children were not hurt, but the case is still on the minds of every parent in the area, and kids are getting some important reminders about what to do if someone comes for them. Yell stranger danger. And then what? Run right away. Go get help or something. Ten year old Luke Brown, his younger brother, and their mom were walking on the path today, scoping out their walking route for Oakwood Manor Elementary School for the fall. The school sent out a note to parents of all summer school students about the incident. Safety messages also included. Yell, scream, make noise, fight back. And uh, that's what these two kids did, and, and, uh, and it had the outcome we desired. You scared him off, and they made it to school. Now, we checked with the National Sex Offender Registry and found out that there are 26 registered sex offenders within a mile of this park. We're live in Gladstone. Peggy Bright, KMBC 9 News. The kids were able to provide a vague description of the suspect in this case. They said it was a tall, dark skinned man wearing a green shirt and black pants at the time. Anyone with information obviously urged to call the TIPS hotline, 816 474 TIPS.